is a walkthrough of how uh, I approach researching using Roam. Um, and the example I'm going to do is um, for an idea called just-in-time project management. Um, now, I'm thinking about this because I had actually mentioned it in uh, a post I wrote up a couple weeks ago on Roam for Zettelcasting. Um, and I was particularly interested in this idea of intermediate deliverables, um, which I'm actually just remembering now. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, in the course of writing this post, it reminded me of this idea that, that I knew I was going to want to put some more, um, like, quotes or evidence around so I can, I can show it to other people. Um, now, this, uh, this is a series um, uh, from... Uh, a great productivity blogger and teacher um, named Tiago Forte, uh, and so I've got I've got the link to this here. Um, so I can also just you know, um, uh, part one source here. Um, so I'm going to include the original URL for people who want to see the context. But right now, I am actually just going to take a bunch of these. And I'm going to start by just pasting it into Roam, um, like pasting all the text. Because I've, I've read this article in the past. I haven't read it recently. But um, actually, let me undo that and say, well, because they're, they're all directly coming from, um, from Tiago. Um, so I'm going to put this in under quotes. Uh, and... As you see, um, I've got the uh, the images also get included, and they get included just as as uh, regular markdown images. Um, so if you were to paste this text into uh, you know some other markdown processor, you'd still see those. Um, but the next thing I want to do is I'm going to search through here, and in addition to quotes, um, I'm actually going to put in um, key terms. And then I'm going to go through here and look at the things that I think he's talking about. Um, well, here he's, he's talking about uh, project management as a, as a key term. So I'm going gonna, gonna to make a page for project management. Um, and I want that page to be capitalized. So I'm just going to create a page for project management. Uh, I'm going to keep going through. He's talking about return on investment. Um, you know, that's that's probably something I could also make a page for. Um, I wonder what happens if I visit that. Yeah, it's just a regular return on investment page. Um, well, anyways, when I when I create that, it doesn't just collect the direct link that I had to the return on investment page. It is also going to just pull up the quotes now um, from here, and I can I can filter on these for the ones from Tiago Forte, which are currently all of them, um, and uh, yeah, I can I can see just the paragraphs where he was talking about return on investment. Um, but there was another key term here, which I think was pretty interesting, where he's talking about return on attention. So I'm going to make a page for that as well, and. Um, he also calls that a ROA. Um, so now I can go to the ROA page, and I can see, well, it's collecting actually some of the Rome references. But um, so that that probably is not going to be actually that useful a page for me. So I'm going to just delete this page. And if I go back and see where I deleted that page, um, all it did was it, it deleted the explicit link. Um, so yeah, but return on attention seems to be good enough. And I can figure in, find the places where he's talking explicitly about um, return on attention in that paragraph. Uh, and, and just jump back into here. Um, knowledge management is product management. Anyway, so that's... That is 
Um, so here I want to list out the key terms being return retention, return investment, and project management. Um, yeah, that this is a uh, this gets a lot more useful. So this our help database. I haven't actually put a ton of um, core text in here, um, but it gets a lot more useful as I start to link other essays together. So I'm actually going to go into this next section, and uh, I remember that he was talking about intermediate packets, and this is a thing that I think is pretty crucial, and I'm going to want to include in that Zettelkasten and um, essay that I was writing. So I'm I'm actually going to skip to this one. Copy some of these. Put these in here. Uh, and this essay was called Just in Time Project Management. Number four, intermediate packets. So I'm going to just skip ahead and say part four. Oh, he called it intermediate packets, not intermediate deliverables. So that means my old link here was wrong. Um, I'm going to put the quotes in here first. But fortunately, I can just jump to this page. I've got all these. Oh, he did talk about intermediate deliverables, actually. Um, anyways, but the the idea isn't really called intermediate deliverables. It's called intermediate packets. So I'm going to and change it to intermediate packets. And when I change that, it's actually going to change all the links that I had to that. So um, that that makes from changes the link inside this room for Zettelkasten um, and changes the title over on part four. So that's that's a handy example of when I named something wrong, I can update it in one place and it updates. Doesn't break the link structure of my database. Doesn't mean I have to go through and um, and find everything um, just means that I, you know, can, uh, yeah, I can, um, let's close this down so I can see this a little bit better. Um, yeah, so here, that's, well, that's for part one. I want in here, what was I calling that? I was calling this uh, key terms. I can close those quotes down. So here I want to have a collection of key terms as well. And I've got intermediate packets as a key term. Also, I'm going to just make one for intermediate deliverables. Um, so yeah, if I shift click this, I can open up the um, the mentions and I can see the unlinked mentions and I'll, that pulls up that quote again, which is, as you begin to structure your work as intermediate deliverables, you begin to change the type of risk you're exposed to. Because you know you can freeze any deliverable in mid-flight, you no longer fear being interrupted, running out of time, or forgetting the details of what you're working on. You substitute the risk of not delivering on something large with the creative risks of going deeper on something small. And that's kind of the core idea um, for Rome, is that we want to make it easy for you to go off on a tangent and create some small component um, that you're going to be able to use uh, over and over again. Um, so I want to, um, I think this image is one that I really am going to use. Um, I, I want to use this, this image here on like intermediate packets. Um, somewhere, I think, in that Rome for Zettelkasten paper. So I could just say, you know, I could make a little to-do. Rome for Zettelkasten. Um, so now at least when I, you know, visit the Rome for Zettelkasten page, um, 
don't necessarily know where I should put it, but it's going to be in the mentions. Um, and that will allow me to, to bump up a level and see this. Um, and yeah, let me, let me just do this now. Um, I'm going to click on this page. Right, I've got this, this item right here in my sidebar. And so I'm going to put this into right here. Um, and I can say, you know what, actually, um, I liked that intermediate deliverables equals work. So I can just link that quote that I saw earlier, and I can also do this. I can copy block ref um, and paste that here. And so now I've got this idea of, um, so I could say something like the core idea of Um, so yeah, so now when I go and if I click on this, right, I can see that it's coming from the just-in-time project management page. It's coming from quotes. That's going to bump me up and highlight the section. So it actually is it's just going to bring me right. So any, any user who is um, like reading this thing on Rome, uh, on, about Rome for Zettelcasting, they see that I think, you know, um, that... And I'm describing how the Zettelcast is basically the GTD for intellectual progress. I've got the quote right here. They can they can navigate to that quote. Um, they can navigate to that image, and uh, or when they are reading on just in time project management, um, they'll see that there's a reference to this. There's one other reference to this, and if they click on that, um, then they'll see that there's this reference here, um, and so they can see you know where that idea was linked before. So as you, um, yeah, as you go through this, this makes it much easier as you're reading something interesting, um, makes it much easier to, to take pieces of that and place it into new contexts um, and just connect your ideas. Uh, so you're more actively reading people's work. You're more actively thinking about um, how does their work relate to the projects you're working on, relate to the questions that you're asking, not necessarily the questions that they're asking. And, um, yeah, like just allows you to then roam or, or wander, um, through the things which you've curated and that you think are relevant. So that's, that's how I use Rome for researching.